Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. So this morning we start off with a little surprise. We see how the lambs are making out with the bottle holder. We do our morning chores as usual. We have to deal with our little lamb rebel. We demonstrate our partial solution. And of course lamb races. And we come up with a hole in the fence solution. So let's get started. So when this happens, you're always a little surprised. We're kind, we were kind of out of the lambing mode and this morning we got a new little face that joined us. It's looking really, really nice. Hi, who are you? nice little surprise and sometimes when uh, one starts that might trigger the the final four to go here's hoping because it's nice to get them all done in one group well we'll check this one out get her all marked up and uh, find out the information on this one and here she is it's been 10 days since we had a lamb and it's a little ewe lamb and she's actually not that little. Yeah, you're really, really nice. She was born last night sometime. This morning we found her all dried off and nursing on her mom. So she's doing good. And tomorrow we'll get her tagged and let her out and join the bottle baby group. There you go. There you go. Yes. Welcome to the world, little one. Hello. Hi. Well, she's not watering and everything, so. And I gave her some nice wet hay. Those of you who like it, I see. <laughs> Probably. Well, she can spend a day in here with a bond with the lamb, but I think she has no problem putting her out. Do you want to tag her tomorrow morning? Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow, like afternoon, we can let her go in the pen, I think. She'll be fine. I think she'll be happy with the group, eh? For sure. Okay, now we're on to the bottle babies. We got consistently five taking off the holder. The big number two has to be forcefully put on, but once it's on, it's okay. And Calamity thinks she's special, that, that somehow the milk, if you hold it, tastes better. So, hi Calamity, you're just fussy. She drank that much, but she is the fussiest of the eaters. But I think she is drinking off her mom, so, her adopted mom. Would you like some extra? Because you're not fussy in the least. No, you're not. You're you're special. These number eight lambs are extremely nice. Seymour and his sister. This is his sister. That's Seymour over there. Seymour, would you like a little more? Seymour, hey. Seymour. There you go. I thought you might like more. All done, you guys? Good job. So with the bottle holder, it only takes, well, however long it takes to drink a bottle, that was maybe two minutes. So we got Hilton in here saying hello to our rams. He's still checking out ewes, but uh, they should all be bred by now, I'm thinking. I still think our rams are prettier. But this is different bloodlines. Hi, Scotty. How you doing? Want some food? Okay, on to the coveralls. So this morning in the you and lamb pen, I guess you call this, the family groups. Um, we got 
a whole bunch on this side in the creep area and a whole bunch of them at the mineral feeders and then on the young side it looks like practically everyone is in the creep area there's only a little bit of creep feed in there but what they're doing now at this age is they're just checking out their independence discovering a place where they can go but moms can't go so it's kind of a special spot for them and lambs as much as they want to be with their moms they also really enjoy hanging out with their uh, buddies and we had one up on the the playpen there he just came off and Arnie's rolling out the hay he had to remove that board to come through and then he put it back in and that'll be this barn done over here we got someone who's going to spend his time watching the others from up on the box. These are the younger ones. I took um, a little 39 and sent him over to the this group the other day. He was in the watch pen, and I can't remember if I put a dot on him, so I'm just going to try find him in here and make sure he's got a dot. And here's one of the brave little ones. It's up on the box. Oh! <laughs> Spoke to him. Oh, and there's, uh, that looks like maybe 39. Hi, are you 39? Are you 39? Yeah, it is 39 and I didn't put a dot on him. Because he was in the watch pen and I moved him over to the good to go pen. So um, tomorrow I'll come back with a red marker and put a red marker on him. Because right now I can remember he's in here, but who knows what I'll remember in a couple of months from now. So we're getting the ram's feed done. We add a little bit of uh, limestone to their grain ration to help prevent stones. And, do you see, um, killer ran over today. So, you know, maybe we were jumping the gun. Maybe, hopefully, he's not got stones or anything like that. And he was just feeling under the weather. We've treated him for everything, so. But he uh, definitely got up from his private spot and ran over. Here come the boys. We're just going to make sure they know where that opening is. They got in okay last night, and we've hung a bucket from the fence so they can see what direction the opening is. So we'll see how quick a learner they are. Ben. They're heading the right direction anyway. They all out? Yeah, I, I think they're pretty quick learners. Ben. Ben! Quick learners. Ben, ben. People say sheep aren't smart, but uh, that hole was just put there yesterday. I think it's smarter than my neighbors. Uh, probably. Not all neighbors, though. Some of our neighbors are fantastic. There they go, they're on the other side. 
So if you have a pail hanging off the fence, then it's kind of a lure. For one thing, they can see it. It's the opening is marked. And uh, in the beginning, they might have thought it had grain in it. So it worked really well, see? Just a string and a bucket. Uh, we don't have a gate on here yet. We don't really need one in here right now because uh, we got permanent fencing all around this field. But before other sheep come in here, the, we will be putting a gate on it. And Arnie's out there again, trying to move them to the front of the pasture where there's a little more grass. Someone's in a good mood. Happy days. That's what border collies do, they circle. He's done his job, he's got them in a clump right by you. These are the little guys, and we got someone who's mastered the big box. These two are super motivated. It's a rainy, cooler day, so that makes them more lively. And on the big side, Today Arnie has to feed um, a bale of hay in this 
Dorset barn here. So he took the wall down and when he went to get the hay he said, I hope that number three doesn't hop in the feeder because the minute she can get into trouble, she does. And here's the feeder and look way down there. That's why we have a wall. She'd go way down there. That's number three. Every time. The problem is getting her back before the bell gets here and getting her into the right pen. Because there's a reason she's in the feeder. She's a little smarter than the others and a little harder to catch. So and I go to the back and try chase her okay, off. So we gotta get her to the front of the barn. Um, I see you. I see you. You have your own creep pen. You don't need to be in here. learn that that's her side. She's a little bit of a monster. As far as that number nine U feeding everybody, I think she was feeding everyone because she was at the trough and was more uh, concentrating on that than anything. But her lamb is in fantastic shape, so I'm assuming that not 24-7 is she feeding everyone, just uh, just when she's busy doing her own thing, she lets them nurse. Yes, this is her, this is her here, I think. Oh no, that's number seven. Here's number three. No, you don't. You're not coming in here. Oh, that's number three's mom. I thought she was gonna try get in the feeder, but she actually wanted to have a little sock here. By the number on the mom's back, I see that she has a little brother too, but he hasn't figured out how to get into the feeder yet. She was in the feeder. <laughs> that missed on camera. There is a lamb on the box and it leaped midair. Got about eight feet of air under it. His dorsets have wings. Really, Artie? At least you can get by me. Let's see. I don't think that you could have got. Ah! Stop, right. Artie! When you look at the lamb size compared to the box, that's pretty tall. And that's one of the little, uh, little guys. We had a few little ones that went in there. Small but mighty. So this is the dividing wall he puts up. So when number three gets in, she doesn't go to the back. She can still come on this side if she wants to, but because her mom's on the other side, she's not likely to do that. She's obviously smart enough. But occasionally, other ones will get in and they will go to the wrong side. Now we got someone getting ready to have a nap on the box. We got that one laying on the box there. And we got one on this side too.
it's raining now and we're gonna see if the even in the rain they go straight for that hole now you can easily train sheep they're actually a smart animal It's a rainy, miserable day now, so I think we're going to call it a day, and I hope you'll join us again next time for the next day at Utopia Farms. Thanks for watching. Bye.